For British commuters, it's a case of New Year, same strikes. Tens of thousands of rail workers from the RMT union began a two-day walkout on Tuesday, kicking off a five-day run of industrial action across the rail network. This first strike leaving a skeleton service in some parts of the country, none at all in others. Um, it has been really hectic, um, especially getting to work has been really difficult. Um, but fortunately, again, you know, uh, with technology, um, it does help that we can work from home. So I completely understand that people have the right to strike and I support them. It's obviously frustrating after coming back from Christmas. The last thing you want to do is then have delayed travel. Trains are still running, particularly at major city hubs like this one, but they're running at about 20% of normal capacity, starting later and finishing earlier in the day. Passengers are being told not to travel at all. If possible, those who are making journeys having to plan accordingly. The unions want pay awards that reflect inflation, currently running at nearly 11%, and they're resisting proposed changes to working conditions, including more driver-only trains and more mandatory Sunday working. Our members' working lives will be thrown up in the air and their conditions will be ripped to pieces. They have voted no to that and not, it wasn't even first in their, their thinking about pay. Hundreds of our members have been in contact saying, don't throw our conditions away in return for a very modest pay deal. The government rejects the union's charge that it's preventing the rail companies from making a deal, at the same time insisting inflation matching pay awards would harm the economy. There's a fair and reasonable pay offer on the table which two of the trade unions have accepted. The RMT sadly decided to reject it. It has to be a, a, an offer that's fair and reasonable for the taxpayer as well as for the people that work in industry. And we've also got to see some reform in the way the industry operates so that we have a proper seven-day railway that passengers can rely on. Network Rail, which runs and maintains the tracks, says such a deal is within touching distance. There are reports that improved benefits rather than pay are under consideration. For now, though, this winter of strikes and disruption rolls on. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, London.